Men, do you want to improve your dating life right now to find a loyal woman for fulfilling relationship? Well, then keep this in mind. Valkyries do not flock to weak men. They seek out warriors. So you need to become a masculine man if you want to draw the best feminine attention. Authentic masculinity is your best attribute. And stable, feminine women will respond if you step into it. So if you want a devoted woman who looks at you with trust in her eyes, you must be a masculine man worthy of that trust. That is why I'm about to show you authentic masculinity and what it looks like at every stage of the dating process, from meeting to marriage, and how it's going to create the relationship that you are really looking for. I am Adam Lane Smith, the attachment specialist, and I show people how to build better relationships. Shout out to all my members who support this channel. Thank you so much for having my back. And new viewers who are just coming in, I am glad you are here. Let's talk about masculinity and how it transforms your dating life forever. If you want a dating life that leads to commitment, love, devotion, and a family, tactics are not going to work. Neither is earning approval or being interesting. Authentic masculinity is a large part of your attraction factor, and there is no substitute for it. So let's look at how you're going to be authentic and masculine from now on in every stage of the dating process and how that frees up women to respond better to you. So to do this, to make this happen, I need to show you a picture of what authentic masculinity looks like so that you have a clear definition to work from because you cannot hit a target that you cannot see and cannot imagine. Authentic masculinity is having a full, realized character in all ways, meaning you are transparent about your desires, what you want. You are direct about those things and direct in your communication so people can believe what you're saying. You are justice-minded, which means that you are fair to other people. You are honorable and you do what is right so that people can rely on you for that. You also turn down bad matches and you are not in a rush to try to get to the physical or get a girlfriend as fast as possible. You want the right, the right fit and the right connection. And you are dedicated to your vision of the life you want to build, which means you have to have a vision of the life you want to build. Now that's a brief overview. Let me show you what this looks like so that you can really see it. I had a client who came in to me. Let's call him Brian. Brian was about as non-masculine as you can get. Brian tried to make women happy. He tried to be interesting. He tried to think up things to say on the date. He tried to compliment them. He tried to be a nice guy. He was everything that women are not looking for, which you can understand why Brian got put in the friend zone at just about every date. He did get into a relationship and she started resenting him and cheated on him and bailed out very, very quickly. She also was not a very stable or healthy woman. I'll tell you that. Now, Brian came to me and said, Adam, what am I doing wrong? And I said, Brian, do you feel like a man? He got really uncomfortable squirming in his chair. Well, I, I, I don't know. What does that mean? <laughs> Brian, are you transparent about what you want? Are you able to tell women what you want? Are you direct in your communication? Are you trying to be nice? Are you fair to them and to yourself? Do you do what you know is right or do you try to please, even if it violates your own honor code? Are you looking for any match at all and you're just desperate and trying to rush into it? Do you have a vision that you're aiming for and inviting them into? No. That's the problem. So here's what we did. Here's how we helped him become masculine and authentic in his relationship. He defined what he wanted. Finally, Brian sat down and said, I want a long-term committed relationship with a woman who is devoted to me and loyal and loving. Fantastic. What else? A home and children. I want to work. I want her to be at home with those children. I want her fulfilled in that role. I want to be providing for them. And I want us to have a marriage we can both trust and feel good in. Now that's a vision, Brian. Okay. Are you dating in alignment with that? No. Okay. Here's how you're going to do it instead. Brian changed his dating bio very quickly at the top. Looking for long-term committed relationship. Please do not contact for anything more casual. Instantly filtered women out like that. What are you going to do next? List the characteristics of a woman who would fulfill that. Honorable, thoughtful, 
honest, dedicated, open communication. Instantly on his dating bio. Boom! Started picking up all kinds of great matches. Then Brian started going on dates. Then he used my three date method. I've got a video for this earlier on the channel. He stopped being afraid that he was going to drive away women by not being good enough. And he started filtering them to see if they were good enough for him. Not in an arrogant way, but for his vision. He was not afraid of bad matches. He could tell them what he wanted. When he started telling women what they wanted, they were stunned. All of a sudden, he had a couple of women to choose from. He didn't sleep with any of them, interestingly. He didn't rush in in the bed. The ones who tried, no thanks. And he got out. He took his time. He had conversations, hard ones, about things he wanted. Compatibility. Her life, her family, her relationships. Being honest with her about his own hookups and, and, and hangups and, and what he needed to do. He built himself through honesty. And then he had a great connection with a wonderful woman he finally selected. Now he's engaged. I know this works. He's engaged to a wonderful feminine woman who compliments him in every area of his life. And his, there's the wind at his back as he's marching forward into a vision. Brian started off not having any idea what he wanted and trying to get anything he could. And the right woman responded to him when he changed that. Doing this, being that clear, makes good women feel safe around you. If a man came in and told you, hi, nice to meet you. I'm Brian. I want this and this and this. In exchange, I'm going to do this for you. Can you help me? Can we do this and take care of each other? How would you feel? Would you relax into this connection? If Brian instantly started giving you the things that he promised he would, and you gave it back, and he was thankful, not submissive, but thankful, and said, thank you for this. This is awesome. Let's continue this relationship. And you took care of each other. And if you ever broke down and couldn't give, Brian said, you know what? That's okay. I got you this time. If he was clear about every expectation and what he wanted, you never had to wonder, how would you feel? Men, this is the number one thing you can do if you want to be in the top 10% of men in the dating pool. Because you will stand out above every other man in the dating pool who is trying to be interesting and get anything he can and earn approval and stay safe and disconnected from people. Because you are taking what you want, but not by force. You're taking it or leaving it. Yes, I want this. No, I don't want that. You're inviting people into an authentic relationship with you and telling them exactly what to expect. And you help them feel safe the whole time. You are so much better than the other men in the dating pool. This is exactly why healthy, stable, loving, loyal women are going to respond to you with that safety. By wanting you. Wanting to be around you. Wanting to learn about you. They'll be interested in you. Not interested in the topics you're discussing, the way you're dancing and making them happy. Interested in you. Safe women who are safe and secure can become feminine. This even works inside of romantic relationships if you're already in one and it doesn't feel good. I had a client who came in whose wife hated his guts. <laughs> really was doing not, not completely, but despised the dude like, and kept telling him, please do better. He had no idea how. He was not being clear or direct or providing vision or telling her what he wanted or, or being honest. And when he did, she started responding a lot more warmly. She didn't resent him anymore because she wasn't scared anymore. Even women that don't like you very much will usually respond to this very well. So in there, men, if you want a great dating life, if you want devotion from a stable, healthy woman, you need to feel, make her feel stable and safe and healthy. And masculinity is what provides that safety because you're clear and direct. You protect by offering shelter from chaos and confusion. All they have to do is just meet what you ask for and you will provide. As my clients both saw change, as Brian saw change, you're going to see change. So here's how you're going to conduct yourself differently like Brian changed from now on so that you can display authentic masculinity and be seen by women for the masculine man that you are and so they can respond to you in the way that you've been looking for. So just like Brian on the dating apps, you guys, clear, exact communication about what you're looking for, your goals, your statement of do not contact if less than this, right? Exclusivity there. 
uh, be a little exclusive. It's like a very exclusive club. And then the characteristics of a partner you're looking for. The emotional, honorable, intelligent, intellectual, moral characteristics of a partner you're looking for. Right? In the DMs, follow that up. Not, hey, did you know this interesting fact about Jupiter? Guys try the weirdest things to be interesting. No. Hey. I see that you matched with me and you're contacting me. Are you in, are you really interested in a committed relationship with the right person? Not with me right now with the right person. Double check that. Yeah, I am. Are you? Yeah, I'm legit. This is what I want. Great. Glad to contact you. Initial contact. Be that clear. Hey, this is what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a casual sexual relationship right up front. I want to build something that's going to last. Is that okay with you? Is that what you're looking for also? What is your vision of a long-term relationship? Let's see if that even matches up. Let's talk about this. This is what I want. On date one, talking, sharing, laughing, engaging. You check with what I call primal chemistry, right? Is she your type physically, mentally, emotionally, feminine-wise? Is she your type and can you talk and have a great conversation? Are you her type? Right? Start filtering for primal chemistry. Date number two, you start filtering for personal chemistry. Tell me a story about your family. Tell me a story about your parents. You'll find out if they're together or not. Tell me a story about something you're proud of in your life. Asking for stories, telling stories. You're going to learn about values, beliefs, and goals. Personal chemistry. Do you share personal chemistry as human beings? Level two, second date. Third date, attachment chemistry, right? Hey, you know what? I got to be honest with you. Since we're talking about commitment, we're talking about moving forward. Let me tell you some things about myself, right? Some holdbacks that I have. Can you be honest? When, if you're on a job interview and they ask you, you know what, what's your biggest weakness? What's your drawback? If you can say, it's this, and here's how I'm working on it, and here's how I'm processing it, and here's how I'm continuing to work on it, and here's how it won't be your problem, it'll be my problem. Same thing on date number three. You open up about your red flags and turn them into green flags. Hey, you know what? I have a hard, I've had a hard time in the past sharing my needs and being really clear with people. So I have done a tremendous amount of work on this so that I can be focused and clear about what I want and so no one ever has to wonder ever again. So if you ever see me evading or kind of being quiet or uh, approval seeking or anything like that, let me know. Tell me I'm doing the thing and I will stop because it's my job to handle that and I want to make sure that I am clear and honest with you. You've turned your red flag into like five green flags by doing this. This is masculinity in dating, having the guts to do that. And then you say, what about you? What's something I should know about you that's difficult in relationships and how are you working on it? Once you have this established, that you know primal chemistry, you guys are a good match and a good partnership, that you guys have fun together. Number two, that you're a personal chemistry is matched up, right? You have similar beliefs, maybe the same religion, maybe the same political beliefs, the same goals in life. Level three, that you both have decent attachment where you can be honest and connected. A masculine man doesn't say, well... Let's kind of think about it. I'm not sure. I'm kind of scared. No, he goes for the ask. Hey, you know what? In the old days, he used to say, let's go steady. Now it's, do you want to be exclusive? Do you want to put a label on this? I'm ready to put a label on this. What are we, what's it going to take to get you there? Now there's a masculine approach. I'm ready to go exclusive on this because I like you. Have the guts to say that. What will it take to get you there? 90% of the time, she's going to say, I'm there now. <laughs> when you're masculine and direct like that. Then a masculine man moves into the first year and you're headed toward marriage, right? This is easier to do when you are this direct. Then you start testing through that first year and being that clear and that direct. A problem comes up. Hey, here's a challenge. Let's beat this together. Masculinity and dating. So guys, if you want... A committed relationship with a loyal woman who really cares about you and trusts you and you can have a lifelong bond together. This is how you're going to conduct yourself from now on. And your romantic life is going to change as a result because it cannot stay the same. Now, guys, we talked about this. Dating today is disappointing. It's hard. People are unhappy. You might be watching this video because you were unhappy with your dating life. That's often because men are not being authentic anymore in their connections with women, which is why most men are left disappointed in romance and women are too. 
Everybody is. Authenticity and masculinity makes you top 10%. And it's what draws the feminine response that you've been looking for. So it is time to step into that authentic masculinity and that directness, that transparency, justice-minded focus, honor, and turning down bad connections. No more games, no more approval seeking, no more fear, no more being interesting, and no more hesitation. That time for you is done. Be clear, be direct, be focused, be honest, and be unshakable. This is full masculinity on display. So go try this approach. Then come back here and comment with the reaction you get, and you can thank me for the results. I am Adam Lane Smith, the attachment specialist, and I'm going to see you in the next video called The Roman Empire Trend Explained to see that masculine men have always been in fashion and always will be. I'll see you in that video.